Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be creating a sort of timer um, that counts down from a, the, a certain time. So basically, in the previous video, we created a total length, okay? So when, when we play some music, it would show us the total length. OK, um, so we're going to create a timer that counts down from that total length and shows us how much time is left or how much time we have covered of that music file. OK, so that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're going to copy this length label. OK, and paste it because our current time label is very similar. So you can say current time label. And we can just copy that everywhere. There we go. Um, and uh, we are going to keep this as a uh, total length. So we know. Um, Actually, uh, I don't think we should keep that as total length, or should we? Uh, let's keep this as um, let's keep this as time left, or maybe not, because we're gonna be showing how much time we have covered. So maybe we should call it something else, like uh, let's just call it time covered because we might actually uh we might change that okay so we'll just call it time covered uh for now uh it's not going to be too special we're just going to call it that so that's the very simple bit creating the label now now what we're going to do is we are going to uh under where we did our details bit we're going to create the timer thing okay so uh what we're going to do is we are going to create something called star count so def star count and we're going to pass in a parameter called t now this parameter is basically a time we want to start count down from okay um so yeah we're gonna that's the parameter you need to pass in so um we're gonna say current time is equal to zero okay so that's the current time and we are going to say while current time is smaller than or equal to t so and mixer dot music dot get busy okay so while mixer dot music is getting busy it's getting ready um we are going to do this okay so we're going to say well actually we don't really need to type it again manually what we can do is we can copy this because this is actually very similar <laughs> very similar we only need to change like two words and then it's good see so we don't need total length we need to pass in current time and then instead of length label, it is current time label. And um, yeah, we can say time covered. Okay, so uh, yeah, there we go. We have uh, we have done that. Okay, so um, now that we have done that we need to kind of put some sort of timer functionality so we need to say time dot sleep now we haven't imported the time dot sleep uh we have imported time actually so we need to import time by going import time simple um and then once we have done that you do time dot sleep one so uh basically one means one second not a millisecond so don't get confused with that uh so make sure it's you put one in there if you want it to be one second interval uh otherwise if you have like if you want to your time to go up in five seconds which is pretty weird but you can still do it then you'd put time dot sleep five and 
uh, and then after you've done that you say current time plus equals one or in another case if you want to increase it by five at a time then you just go current time plus equals um plus equals five so uh you don't only need to do this in Tink kinta you don't only need to you, you don't only use this in kinta what you can do is you can use it in games as well okay so uh don't be afraid to use these in games okay but uh there is one thing you might want to do so if uh, let me just show you what might happen it doesn't always happen like for example if it's in games then it might not happen but uh in the at this specific moment it will happen so uh what uh what we're going to do is in our play music we're going to do the start count in our play music so we're going to say start count and for the t we're actually all we're going to go to show details i'm going to copy this bit where we get the total length um and we did this in a previous video so um don't feel confused uh you just need to go watch the thing so um now over here we can pass in the total length and now there is one thing that's going to happen so we open up our music so what's that play um So now you can see that it's a bit weird, okay? So now it's not even working. Okay, so now you can see that it was literally not even responding uh, if you heard me then but I don't think you could hear me because the music is very loud because it wasn't even responding so um, we don't want that so this is where we use something called threading so um, you need to say import threading uh, so yeah so that's what we are going to use now basically threading is um, if you use threading it's a bit like having a companion so let's say you're playing some sort of game okay um, and you're supposed to attack enemies and you just created this amazing tower but you don't have anything like security cameras or anything like that so you want to monitor uh mobs uh for two directions at the same time you can't do that because you don't have eyes on the back of your head okay so this is what happened here so uh all our, our kinter window was um focusing on was our start count okay so it just focused on the start count but we don't want it to do that we want to focus on everything as well so uh so back to the game scenario let's say you invite a friend you tell your friend to look at all the other enemies look after all the other enemies uh so you're like okay friend you look this side i'll look that side and then you both fight okay so something like that uh so imagine the thread is your friend uh that's what i mean okay so in our show details we're gonna let the show details take care of the thread okay so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna say t1 or thread one you can call it whatever you like is equal to threading dot thread target so the target is the function you want to uh, kind of target on um so in this case you want to target on the start count function um and then we've got args which so what argument do you want to pass in uh so i'm going to pass in the total length and you don't need to redefine it because we're in we're doing it in here and then after you've done that you want to start the thread so t1 dot start okay so let's see what happens file open okay so you can see that's working pretty good but the time covered isn't really um it's not actually updating uh, so let's see what has gone wrong 
Oh, and also, uh, one thing I want to say is if you pause the music, the uh, time countdown won't actually uh, the time countdown won't actually update. Okay, so um, the, so let's say you pause the music, you don't want the time countdown to go on forever. So um, we're actually gonna take care of that as well. So we're gonna say global paused, um, and then we're gonna say if paused so we're doing this inside our while loop so if paused we're going to continue and we're going to say else and then we're going to indent all of this time bit inside that so basically um what this continue does over here is it ignores this else bit and it just continues with the while loop and it does that over and over again until the music is unpaused okay so yeah so um also the problem was uh the this this thing over here isn't actually started countdown so we need to make sure it does that Aha, so um, I found the uh, error. So basically, when you do threading, you want to put a comma after the arguments because um, because otherwise uh, it won't it will only just handle total length. It won't handle any other arguments that are included in start count. OK, so you want to put that comma there and now it will actually work because I just tested it out. So we open it up. So now you can see it whenever you pause or stop it, then it's, uh, you know, kind of did it and then it starts over again. OK, so that is actually working. So it is working now. So it is counting up. It's stopping. And then when you play it again, it resets. So yeah, that's uh, what we're going to do today. In the next video, we're going to be fixing a bit, a few little bugs, uh, a few little uh, bugs. Um, so the first bug we're going to fix. Um, the first bug we're going to fix today, uh, next in the next video, is we are going to uh, fix a bug. Um, so, like when we play the music, we press play, but it says music resumed. So we're going to fix that bug, and we're also going to tidy up this bit over here. We're gonna add a, a make it a bit more tidy, um, and I might actually give you some more ideas on how you can improve. Okay, so uh, yeah, so um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or doubts, please comment in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Bye!